Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. Time for another of my misunderstood movie reviews and if you don't know what these are, these are reviews where I showcase films that I believe deserve a second chance. Now whether that's because critics or audiences didn't take to it or it failed financially at the box office, whatever the reason I might think it's misunderstood I will do a misunderstood movie review for it and today I'm doing a misunderstood movie review for the 1985 action adventure film Remo Williams The Adventure Begins or as it was known for a time in the UK certainly when I went to see it at the cinema in 1985 it was called Remo Unarmed and Dangerous and it was a film based on a series of books now uh, they were called the Destroyer books and the idea was I think they wanted to turn these films into a franchise of films similar to James Bond um, and I think the idea was that Remo was going to be like the blue collar equivalent of James Bond like the American version and this is a very obscure film and it's a film that not a lot of people have seen or even remember unless you're really into 80s movies and things like that and it stars Fred Ward, who I think is one of the most underrated um, actors of his generation. He's done so many great films, if you look at his f uh, back catalogue. We have Joel Grey as Chun, which sparked a little bit of controversy at the time. And you would not get away with it these days, absolutely. Because he was an American actor cast to play a Korean character. So he was made up to look Korean would never happen these days and it even it caused a little bit of a stir in those days and on the special features for this which I just bought today and I will be showcasing it in a future update video and the extras for here he talks about you know his worry for taking the role Joel Grey and he would only do it if he could do justice to the Korean culture etc. Um, it also stars Wilford Brimley the brilliant Wilford Brimley we get J.A. Preston and we get Kate Mulgrew, obviously from Star Trek, and the classic 80s bad guy, Patrick Kilpatrick. And this film focuses on Remo Williams, played by Fred Ward, who at the beginning of the film is a police officer. He gets left for dead, basically, and then he gets recruited into like this secret government organisation that answers only to the president. And he is trained up as um, an elite assassin for the American government. And he is sent by Wilford Brimley and J.A. Preston. And they basically make it very clear to him, you either play ball or you're dead. We'll just kill you because you're already dead in the eyes of the world. So he's sent to Chun, played by Joel Grey. Um, and he is made to learn this made up martial art um, by Chun to, to turn him into a living breathing weapon um, and for example some of the things that he can do in this martial art is dodge bullets and walk on water I mean it's, it's, it's bonkers stuff but it's great to watch so they don't initially get on as you could imagine and, and you know the Chun character is very much a Mr Miyagi type character he's very very funny I will, I will give him that that's where the comedy really comes from this chemistry between these two characters throughout the film um, Remo Williams and Chun there's, there's, I mean they really do have great chemistry and it's great fun to watch so, so you, you get a section in the film where he's being trained up by Chun and then he has to be released into the world Remo because there's some terrorist threat taking place within the government where you know there's some conspiracy and um, someone wants to make money on weapons and he's got to stop it all even though he Chun protests because he's not ready he's sent out there to deal with it all um, so that's kind of the model of this movie that's what it's about really if you've never seen it now I would ask if you've never seen this film why I mean it is such a hugely entertaining film um, and I was absolutely when I saw this in my local blu-ray store my heart skipped a beat because I was so excited to watch it again because I hadn't seen it for so long and I watched I, I've watched this today before doing this review and I've got to tell you it was bloody great um, I, and I remember going to the cinema to see it I mean at a time in my life when 
um, in the 80s you know I would go literally as often as I could to see any movies that I could and I remember going to see that not having a clue what it was it just sounded I'm into a what I think I was something like 13 or 14 when I went to see it Remo unarmed and dangerous you'd be thinking now that sounds cool and I've got to say it really was I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed the film um, and I think I probably went back another two or three times to watch it at my local village cinema when I was that age um, and it's it's such a great fun adventure film that these days clearly isn't politically correct and like I said there's aspects of it would never be done today um, but it was so much fun watching it the, the action is competent throughout the, the comedy is just on par um, the fight scenes are pretty good um, it's not Bruce Lee type stuff but you've got to remember at the time when this was made martial arts movies were still massive um, and it was about to go into another boom with the Van Damme movies and the Steven Seagal movies etc um, so people were still riding high on the Enter the Dragon wave and stuff and martial arts films were still very very popular so I think that's probably why they thought this was going to be a hit unfortunately it was a massive bomb and nobody saw it it just disappeared which is a real real shame so I'm hoping to really reignite um, a bit of a following back for this film if you've never seen this film please get the, somehow get the opportunity to watch it go and watch it on stream go and watch it on Amazon go and watch it wherever you can rent it watch it have a great time with it and don't take it too seriously because it certainly doesn't take itself too seriously it's a great great film loads of fun um, and that is my misunderstood movie review for Remo Williams The Adventure Begins or Remo Williams Unarmed and Dangerous but interestingly in the UK Blu-ray release it is called Remo Williams The Adventure Begins but I do think on the yes in because you get a lovely booklet with it because it's uh, an arrow blu-ray on the booklet it calls it remote unarmed and dangerous so i think one of the reasons it kind of failed a little bit is they marketed it really poorly and um, there was i don't think they realized what they had and um, so it was obviously named different things in different territories and that's never a good thing if they're not all singing from the same hymn sheet so they kind of mismarketed this movie a bit I think as well so yeah guys go and give this movie a watch and I will see you next time on Screen Stars